Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey, everybody. Hopefully, you're doing awesome. For those that don't know, I'm Paul Berry, Family for the Gaming. Doing another Twitch live stream, and of course, we transform into a video of E's Nine Monster Knox. Make sure chat's working. Alright, so it looks like I need to go up there next. Hmm, wonder what's going on. They seem pretty panicked. Um, excuse me, did something happen? Well, there's a small fire over at the governor's general office. We're still starting on exactly what happened, but we're suspecting arson. Arson? That's right. Apparently a live coal was thrown through an open back window. We should consider ourselves lucky the room wasn't more flammable. I sure think what, what might have happened had we been a step too late. Some luck with these... With this and the monster incident, we're short enough on hands as is. We'll give the area another once over for now. As for all of you, if you see anyone suspicious, report it immediately. Will do. This has Iris written all over it. Especially considering her mission, I'll bet. This was just, just a distraction for the guards. In which case, chances are she's already snuck in the Governor General's office. Hey, Frost Glacier! Thanks for the bits. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Wait to stop her then before she does something she can never take back. Perhaps we should try and giving the building once over ourselves. Can we get in? Oh, we can't. Can't get in there. This looks like an exit and they used to clean the roof. Well, one man's exit is another monstrum's entrance, right? Right! Let's hurry inside before it's too late. Where are you in the house? Adel and the monstrum snuck in the building from the roof. They then headed towards the Governor General's office, taking care to remain hidden from the staff all the while. Uh oh. Lion Tam isn't back yet. Do not play dumb with me. Everyone knows the Governor General's office is still running. But it's true. We still don't have any idea where he's gone. We're only acting in accordance with his policies from before his disappearance. Uh-oh. Iris? What are you guys doing here? Those clothes. You're the monsters. Don't worry. We're only here to stop the Iris. One of your reasons they can't be worth killing in cold blood. This won't solve anything. Indeed, there is no resolution to be gained from this. Ugh, shut up, shut up, shut up. You think I don't know that already? Whatever it takes to avenge my father is nothing compared to what Rom has done. 
No problem people care, those invaders might as well be the rightful rulers of Gilea. They stole it. All out of the father's hands, from the hands of our family. Your family? You don't mean... Dun dun dun! I don't believe it. Miss No... My lady. Could you perchance, perchance be Her Highness Princess Eleanor? Is it Roosevelt? Princess? Naris, you know, is an alias made by the man who raised me to protect my identity. My real name is Eleanor, firstborn princess of the Gillian royal family. Or it was before their downfall after the aired the Lincoln War eight years ago. As far as the rest of the world knows, I just ended up dropping off the face of the earth. What? Iris, your royalty? I've heard stories about how the royal family met their end, but... I was there hidden in a closet. I watched as Roman soldiers gutted my father like a swine. Everything went black after that. The shock was too much for me to bear. When I came to, I had already been left in the care of the society shadows. Since then, the thought of revenge has been the only thing keeping me going. Revenge against those who pried Gilead's crown from my father's cold, dead hands. Revenge on the cardinal who took his place as if it were nothing. But I could not even manage to do that much. I will not get another chance on his life if I'm captured again. So I will just have to settle for taking yours in his place. I don't get another acting general. Is this really what you want? I stay out of my way. This is the only way I have left to live for. Iris. I understand you're paying your highness. But if I may, I'd like to shine a bit of light on your circumstances. Cardinal Lineham, he did everything in his power to try and save the royal family. He what? During the war eight years ago, he sought a path to meditation as a cardinal of the church. He had even exchanged letters with your father, the King of Gilead, to that very end. But in their lust for glory, the Roman Empire turned their swords to fill the royal castle. Your disappearance has haunted him as his greatest regret ever since, your highness. Then three years ago, the cardinal was sent to succeed. The previous governor general... He felt it was his responsibility as a Roman to restore some measure of peace to this land and to one day deliver you this letter. The acting governor general hands Iris a sealed letter. Open it. Open it. Open it. This letter. My dearest Eleanor, the end of this bloodshed will mark a new beginning for Gilead's history. I have secretly made arrangements to secure even the slightest chance of you making it out alive. You are still so young, but I believe a new path for a, this new Gilead lies in your future. As I write this letter, I ask you to remember me, not as a king, but as your father. I love you, my child. My greatest wish above all else is a happy life for you. Be happy! Cardinal Lineham came across this letter after the war. Since his appointment, we've been told to give this to you, should you ever be found. He considered it the least he could do to atone for his failure to intervene. Ka sob How could I have been so stupid? My father, the man who raised me, I never stopped to think of how he might have felt. For eight years my only thought had been of retribution what happened to me. You were consumed. You can't blame yourself. It was eight whole years ago. And you were what, one? You couldn't have been older than four or five. <laughs> Anyone else in your position would have ended up feeling the same way. New path is still out there. Sniff a new path, huh? For better or worse, none of my ploys at assassination managed to succeed. Though the outcome of this attempt is at, is at your intended victim's discretion. What happened here today was nothing more than a little tiff. You merely came to receive a letter from your late father is all. I didn't see anything worth reporting about that. Ah. Just real slap on the wrist you're giving there. Wish you'd... I'll be that generous about me going feral in town. Way to ruin the moment. Well, he has a point, though. Well, this message is to line home for me when he returns. <clears throat> I will leave the sovereignty of Gilly in your hands for now. But if I ever... I, I see you let the welfare of this land or its people get put into peril, I will kill you dead without a second thought to spare. I'll be sure to let him know. A and the others managed to make their escape before the rest of the staff arrived. The acting governor general kept his word, covering up the incident entirely. Sure enough, no one came in pursuit of them. The group soon made their way to return with the iris to tell the others about her true identity. After doing so, she was once again accepted back into the dandelion. Always happy to help. Ah, we got some gloves. Some gloves. 
Aha! We can open the way. Well, we gotta go fight that battle, but we can go open the way to Santa Fe. Woohoo! Ready to go out and play? I left thinking I would never return, that I would never be welcome back, thinking people drag me back here against my will. So I, I do not know what to think anymore. I just need to sit down and reconsider my life. You do that. You reconsider. Things have settled down. My worries have been assaged. Though I feel justified after learning of Iris's austere Emilia. I wish to steer her toward a brighter future. Maybe she can wear shades. Let's see. Let's figure out where our next area to unlock is. Ah. Oh. This is over here. Yep. Alright. Let's go save. Go open this Grimmel Walks. We got Nox Grimmel Walks. <laughs> and we have a new area. See what I can do. Hopefully, we can do this quickly. It's the Grimwald Knox again. A new path should open once we overcome yep. this. There's something here that's more powerful than anything we've seen so far. I can feel it. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Of course, way. you went, Hawk. At all. We don't know what we're dealing with. Let's be careful. Okay. Monstrums, the time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked. Well, let's go. Oh, protect the spear. Good boy. Shall we get started? Up to you, Jules.
Whoa, those things are. Oh, man. You guys are so and that's just wave one. We've got oh my goodness. doing good. How many it's waves are there going to be? This is wave three. We're not going to survive this much longer. Yeah, they broke it. I'm not shocked. I mean, the, the way it was going... And for some reason, this game has been like this. Like, you gotta, like... We can retry, we can retry, we can retry. I'm not sure why, but... It made it way... The, you know, it's way Shall too OP. Get him good, Joel.
Come on, clown. Two again. Come pick that. There's something coming on this side. Oh, it's dead. Okay, then. Wow. I thought we made the wave three last time, but I guess not. I've been still looking wicked enough where I can't beat them. Oh, my goodness. Shall we get started? Yeah. Is this happening? keeps suspending the game. Let's 
Try a different controller and see if that fixes this problem. What? Come on! Hey, we got through wave two finally. Man, I wish I was a monstrum. We've got And it goes down away first. Okay. <laughs> I, it's like it's like they don't seem to be weakening them strong enough for me. I don't know what the problem is. I'm gonna go after him and go after him and go after him. Let's do this, everyone. Up to you, Jules. again. Oh, 
survive that back again. Any more waves are left? It's wave three. Please don't wait in soon. Final wave, okay. Oh. Got it. Ooh. That was a toughie. <laughs> the final wave was actually easier than like the third wave. You know what I mean? Okay. Our work is done. I'll expect the same effort next time. Mm, excuse me. Got through it. <clears throat> the Grimwald Knox. This brings to mind the depiction on the murals in the catacombs. Judging from them, the Grimwald Knox must be a recurring ancient phenomenon. What is the Grimwald Knox really? You could say it was constructed in order to purge the world Grimnir created. Hmm? Grimnir. That's the chief god of the Norse religion, ain't it? What's your angle, Aprilis? It's been like pulling teeth with you. 
So what's with the change of heart? We progressed so far. I simply felt it was the right time. Huh. I believe you're now ready to hear what I have to tell Ooh, you. Ooh, she's got something to say. This better be worth the wait. What did you mean by purge the world? <laughs> Bless you. Since humans first walked the earth, they have defiled it with their evils. Hatred, sorrow, greed, despair. Each warping our perception of the world. Uh -huh. Although the world itself remained unchanged, the cynicism of mankind festered. Okay. <laughs> this enmity accumulates quickly and is difficult to dispel. When left to amass, it eventually gives rise to monsters. In ancient Glia, they called them Lemurians. And we've been fighting them this whole time. Lemurians are the culmination of the residual enmity of humans. <coughs> yes. Long ago, with Grimnir as their leader, the gods descended upon this land. They created a place where they could purge the evils born from humans to restore peace. Oh, okay, this is a they lot of They call that place the Grimwald Nox. So that's where it came from. But the ones fighting in the mural were Grimnir's demigods. Does that mean we're fighting in place of the gods who are no longer here? That is partially true. One can easily imagine the consequences of leaving the Lemiris unimpeded. All semblance of order in Glia would utterly vanish. That's terrible! But they'd be stuck in there, right? Crimson King, you will find what remains of the truth within the prison. So there is something there. Or you could just tell us now and save us all the trip. Mm -hmm. I've already told you. You must see the truth for yourself before making your choice. Okay. You've all prevailed through much already. I have faith that you will continue to do so. Okay. Now then, I bid you all good luck. You bid me good luck? That's weird. I bid you positive thoughts so no more monsters appear. Yay! I'll deal with the monsters. It appears the barrier to the quarry has now dissipated. We can go break some rocks. Right. We can get through now. So the Grimwald Nox exists to dispel negative emotions. Uh -huh. I never could have imagined. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. But I still don't get what the prison has to do with it. Then again, that cesspool of negative emotions is a prime breeding ground for Lemiris. That is unlikely to be the only reason. Well, we're not learning anything by just standing around. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can find I was it. learning some stuff, but... I just realized I was like three levels below where I needed to be <laughs> for that, that uh, thing too. That's probably why I had to keep dropping it so if I ever get time I'll have to try to grind in this game. The Keening Highlands. It feels as eerie as it sounds. <laughs> why do you think they call it that? We're standing on a mass graveyard. Yeah, its elevation makes it a key defensive position during wartime. There we go. He ran out. Get back here. Oh, the writer.
All right. Something's here. Get back here. What are these things? Trying to heal. Hopefully, I won't get another fight. Looks like Yufa is almost next level. She's still healing herself. No need to rush. Oh, it's back that way. Here. 
Ah, I think the quarry's through here. Something's here. So that tree looks interesting. Interesting, still the wrong spot. It only needs to heal badly. I'll handle this. Leave it to me. Yeah, he's he's a hurting, hurting, hurting. That's where I need to go is to my right. Still. All right, he's close to another level as well, so that's good. Out in the pool. Hmm, not this tree either, it seems, but given the water quality and climate, this is without a doubt a proper habitat. Oh well, look who it is. Professor Valen? What are you doing on the way out here? What? The Monstrums? What are you doing all the way out? Wait, no. How do you even know my name? I'm in the middle of an important expedition, so if you so kind as not disturb me. Well, what's going on here? Oh, wait, is it because we're in our monster forms? You mean he doesn't know about us? But that would imply, imply Silhouette hasn't told him yet. Yeah, seems that's, like that's the case. Staying quiet was a safe choice. Indeed, the professor is perhaps a bit familiar with those Monstrums. Well, now I've got to deal with this instead, so thanks for that. Actually, since I am in fact still listening, I believe I figured to get some things out. You must be all the members of Dandelion some way or another. This is not an inaccurate assessment, generally speaking. Gracious, I should have known something was afoot when you granted the silhouette refuge. Nevertheless, as I've already mentioned, I'm currently engaged in a matter of utmost import. 
Not to say I'm just interested in the monsters, but would you mind leaving me be for now? What about all the monsters around the Granger's even for us? You can't just leave you all by yourself out here, Professor Velen. That's right, I think how Silhouette would feel about this. How would she feel? She wasn't her usual self this morning, so I tried to hear her out. Now you fought after brushing off, being worried about you getting yourself hurt. Don't know what you're after, but I do think you should go apologize to her. Greg, I won't make any excuses, but it simply isn't an option. It's taken me ages to find the vegetation here in Keenan Highlands as it is. These trees, this tree nut of legend must have be around here somewhere. They must be. Nuts of legends? Nuts of legend? Is that what you came out here to find? For what reason, if I may ask? Well, acquiring them is the only way to prove the veracity of my research. It's such I can't give up on this. I must look at them no matter what. Looks like he's set. I'm doing this if it kills him. I just might. I'll admit, though, the legend he mentioned does pique my interest. Yeah. Seriously, I don't. Again, I guess it would be the fastest way to deal with this. I think we should help, too. Will you say, Professor Allen, if we find those tree nuts for you, will you come back to see? <laughs> if you can find them, allow me to tell you what I know. The particular tree I'm seeking is one of upon which golden nuts grow. It must be in the Keenan Highlands from what I've gathered from this and the almanac. Not that I expect very much out of you. But my the best of luck to you all the same. Gotcha. We'll be right back. We'll be right on it. Great. I accept the request. It was right near that. Oh my goodness! That golden tree I found I was very fascinated by. Aha! Hey, Frost Fisher, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you, appreciate you. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for the hugs. It, it was this tree, wasn't it? Yep, I'm going right to it. Hey, look, those nuts are up there. They're gold, right? Yeah, this is one strange tree, too. I've never seen one like it before. You think this is the one Professor Velen was looking for? I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, it must be. Come on, let's go back and tell them about it. Ah, yes, there's no mistake in it. These are, in fact, the gold nuts spoken of in the Legend of Norris. Awesome. Guess it was worth helping out after all. <coughs> it's a legend, by the way. I'm kind of curious myself. It's at least you owe us for having gotten you this far. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to enlighten you as compensation. Centuries ago, before the Hundred Year War, evil spirits were said to run this land. Among the people of the era were those ability to see them. It was deemed a boon from the Norse gods. Some granted the serve it as or their oracles, but many others were consumed by terror and said, hearts falling ill. In their compassion, the false gods bestowed them what they called the Tree of Serenity. The nuts they bore held the power to express their gift, granting them temporary reprieve. Oh, I assume... You already know about the my assistant's ocular condition? Indeed. But she's not a monster and she still bears the ability to see the little mortars. Not that we have any idea how it works. But but by going your but going by your story just now, I think I can guess. Yes, an inquirer into her lineage revealed in Gitz's ancestors of hers to be a Norse oracle. For a reason yet unknown, their ability to see monsters has reawakened within her. However, it's my belief that with these nuts, this aberration can in fact be constrained. I see. So in other words, you're doing this for silhouette all along. Oh come now. It simply doesn't pose an issue for my assistant to live in fear of every single little shadow. Ah, oh, come on, Pr Prof. Be honest with yourself. Why don't you come clean to her, huh? Tell her how it is you really feel. He likes or he loves her. There are most certainly no such feelings which to tell. Silhouette's just, well, she's just like family to me. And thus, the cat has been let out of the bag, so to speak. Whereas cowgirls here is probably stuck in will-they-won't-they -they mode forever. Well, hey, don't drag me into this. Heh <laughs> Returning to the topic at hand, what exactly do you plan to do from here? Bring that back to silhouette, perhaps? Ahem, no. This much will do for now. According to our scriptures, the ritual is performed to harvest the nuts. Failing to follow the proper process will cause the nuts to lose their potency. I'll have to head back to town in order to make a few preparations. As such, I will be counting on you monsters to guard the tree until the harvest. Not gonna happen. That wasn't part of the deal. We have things to do, you know. Uh, even should the bus... Beast feed upon them, there'll surely be plenty to go around. Huh, I suppose you may be right. I get you want to keep an extra safer silhouette, right? You, you'll lot never let that go, will you? Teasing aside, why don't you bring him back to town for now? 
Whoopee, another escort mission. Let's get this over with. Always happy to help. Okay. We got Tempest Alexa or whatever that is. Treasure chest. Like this might be the. Yep, found my quarry. Is this it, Jules? Yeah, this is the quarry we're looking for. Quarry ruins.
They say the stones used to build Baldock Fortress were all cut from here. So these formations left over from way back when. Amazing. The area seems to have been more or less abandoned since then. How, with how long it's remained untouched, there may be less stable footing than we'd like. And we shall simply have to remain mindful of our steps as we proceed. So we're getting progress in Chapter 7, little by little. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, Frost Glacier is going to be the superstar of the stream. I thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,